stomach aches, you get them sometimes, right? So what is stomach ache? You would think it's a pretty straightforward symptom, but people call very different things stomach ache. Kids could be almost dying with pneumonia and still point to their stomach. The stomach basically is a center where a lot of stuff happens and a lot of people trace their symptoms. So except for the pain down here, you can actually have pain all around, in one side, you can have pain in the chest, you can have the feeling of vomiting, of burping, or it goes the other way down. Either way, it's probably not a very pleasant experience. A lot of people go to the doctor for it, not a lot of people get help. Why? Because it's kind of hard to do something about it. Most of the time we only prescribe you painkillers and that's about as much as we can do. Symptoms that medical professionals find really alarming are bloody bowel movements, diarrhea, or you vomiting excessively. The pain is so intense that even with the right amount of painkillers, you can't deal with it. If you're not able to eat for a couple of days or drink for more than 24 hours, you need to come. If you have a high fever, which counts as above 38 degrees Celsius. And if you find yourself with a lot of unwanted weight loss in a short amount of time. So what are the causes of stomach ache? It could be so much. So right up here, it could be biliary disease, you can have pancreatitis, you can have a pneumonia up in here, you can have a dyspepsia, you can have esophagus problems, you can get a myocardial infarction, a thing that it might be coming from your stomach, the spleen. Down here, I'm talking about appendicitis, diverticular diseases, kidney stones, bladder problems, your pelvic area. I don't know why I'm filling myself up like this. If it's all over, you can have the loss of blood transport to one of your intestinal vessels, an aneurysm that ruptured, peritonitis, your bowels could even get obstructed, which will give you a hell of a pain. And ladies, how about pelvic inflammatory disease, adnexopathology, endometriosis, pregnancies, topic pregnancies, miscarriages, just simple menstruation cramps. So there are a couple of tips that you can do. You know, you should avoid fat food. Oh. You should take small meals every day. Oh. Um, make sure you stay away from food that makes you feel really sick. I wish I knew how to quit you. And the most important thing of this video, don't forget to poop. Uh, you know what? I can do this by myself. I mean, yeah, I know it's really gross, but honestly, a lot of symptoms of a lot of people just go away if you just take a douche at the right time. Even for menstruation cramps. So remember, if you want to stay fit, just take a